Clemente. My name is Marcia Douglas, currently the acting colonel of the Charleston Moon Community, the Chief. Welcome to our museum. So the role of Nanny of the Maroon in Freedom for the Maroon is that she um, provide or she make herself into the diligent leader that one would have been looking for. One with spirituality, one with the zeal of, of moving on, and one with the zeal to protect. And so what she did was to ensure that her people had been served the right way in which um, she ensures that they were no longer in slavery. So what she did was to undermine the British on the plantation with the help of her two sisters, Mishibo Kwashi and Shanti Rose. And so doing that, they took their people to the mountains where they had advantage over the British. The British had to import dogs or bloodhounds from Cuba to hunt them down. Now later on, when the treaty was signed and Jamaica gained independence, it was really a hard tussle for people to recognize Nanny for who she was. Um, thanks to um, recent Colonel, Colonel Harris of Moortown, who had made that one of his deepest dream and one of his heen, one of the most sustainable things that he was going to work on, so that Nanny could have been today the national heroine of Jamaica. Oh, oh, oh.